And right now, my friend Jake Burke's coming over. He's taking the trampoline. It's been sitting in my yard for a while, but he's finally taking it, so. What's up, Jakey? Hey. I'm not big enough for this stuff yet. Goodbye, Tramp Master. I'll see you another day, whenever you're at Jake's, maybe. I just got off the phone with my mom, and my car is already out of the shop. I got my license yesterday, but the day I got it, I had to put my car in the shop because, because I had some stuff wrong with it, and like the front wheels, and then one of the seat belts in the back didn't work. So I still have to get a few things fixed, but most of it's already done, so my mom's about to come with Panda Express, and I'm freaking hungry, so... Thank you, Mom. Love you. Yeah, the meetup is so freaking close. I didn't post a video yesterday. Actually, it's today I'm filming this yesterday to you guys. But I didn't post a video because I'm trying to get prepared for the meetup. Like, we have so much stuff to clean, and we have to clean out the trucks. We have to make room for everybody. We've got to get pillows, blankets, and everything set up. And, and I've got to clear off my computer, my memory cards, and everything. Make sure I just have everything. So all that's just taking a while, so I apologize for not uploading. But, you know, everyone should take a day off every once in a while. And I just don't want YouTube to ever feel like a job. Like, I have to do it. I kind of just want to do it whenever for fun. So, yeah. Take the truck. <laughs> she got me Panda Express because she's an awesome mother. <laughs> oh, look, the refrigerator's gone. There's a new one on the way. Oh, there is because we need food for the meetup. Okay, so it's been an hour and I thought they were still unloading the tramp. It was just guys mowing the lawn. But we are on our way to get my car. Then we gotta go get this truck cleaned out at a car wash because it is horribly dirty like usual. Sorry for showing that, Mom. Yay, my car. Bye. My license says work home or school, but I'm pretty much working right now. I mean, I have my camera and I'm filming. I guess we'll see if they actually fix this stuff. It's way smoother than it used to be. I'm not supposed to be driving past nine, so I got about 30 minutes. I'm gonna go derp around in my car. Look at that, I got a car charger just for my car. Now I want to bring my actual charger that I use at night out here and then forget about it. It's just freaking perfect. I haven't really done much of a car vlog yet. I guess this will be it. I just never gotten around to it because I kind of like fast paced vlogs, you know? I usually don't just sit here and talk very much anymore. I kind of miss it. I mean, those are so easy to edit. A lot of you guys don't know it, but whenever I vlog for a day and I do something crazy like the pool thing, I filmed all day long. Like I had two hours worth of footage and you have to rewatch that two hours Edit out the parts you don't want, you know, so so editing does take a while, but it's not that bad because it's worth it to be able to post it and have you guys watch it because because my subscribers have been at like a steady 1,000 to 2,000 a day, which is just so freaking crazy. I remember when I used to get happy when I would get three a day. Like, so we might pick up somebody, we might not, we might just cruise around. Um, I don't really know yet, but all I know is that I can drive now because YouTube is my job. Am I a YouTuber yet? All right, I'm gonna set up the GoPro and switch to that camera. Hopefully the audio is good. I don't have a mic for it yet. I don't think my case can connect to one, but oh well. I guess I should call this vlog like rambling or something because that's pretty much what I'm gonna be doing. A few things I wanna talk about first are the meetup for one. Now last year, we just messed around the whole meetup. Like it was guys that I met off Instagram. We never met each other before. This year about two guys that I've already met are coming back. All the other ones are new, so I'm gonna get to meet all them, I guess. Their parents watched the one last year and realized, hey, it's safe, nobody got raped. I'm kidding, obviously, but last year, we just messed around the whole time, had fun and vlogged it, and this year, I feel like there's so much pressure on me just making such a good video. Like last year, I just held my GoPro around, recorded whatever we were doing, and threw it into a little video, put on some music. This year, I'm gonna be filming with the Canon. I'm gonna be doing like the best I can to make it really good. But the thing I'm worried about is that vlogging every day will make it suck. Like me having to edit a video every night, I feel like that will make me miss hanging out with the guys. I probably have some guys in the basement watching a movie if they want, guys upstairs watching tricking videos on the projector, you know, whatever they wanna do. But I'm scared of like missing out on all that stuff this year because I'll be recording and then at night I'll be editing because I'll have to post it by the next morning. I don't wanna skip days uploading like I don't want to wait the whole week and then post day by day because then all their big tricks will probably be on Instagram by then like I don't want to have to make everybody wait to post their stuff but I also don't want to have to rush editing during it so I don't really know what I'm gonna do all I know is that these kids need to get out of the street last year I just remember it being so fun and stress relieving to hang out with all the guys not having to worry about anything like that's the point of the meetup just to hang out with everybody relax and not have to worry about whatever else is going on you know what I'm saying I don't really know yet I guess I'll just try to edit when everybody's starting to go to sleep and I'll just get like a little bit less sleep than everybody else I never required that much sleep so I guess I'll do that I just can't wait to see the guys from last year again it's gonna be so awesome and Luke I went to Luke's house it's gonna be awesome to reminisce with everybody remember I haven't seen these guys in over a year like imagine meeting 
the best friends that you have everything in common with and then you can't see them again for a year. It just sucks. Another thing about the meetup is last year, I didn't have any tricks in mind whatsoever to try. We just did whatever. Like I said, we just did whatever. Nothing was planned out. We kind of just did every day however we wanted. Like the day we went to get air, we just decided that day that we were gonna go. We didn't plan anything out. But this year, it just seems like the pressure's on because a year ago, if you did a triple front flip on a trampoline, if you did like tricks that I still do, like enjoy doing, you were considered really good and like everybody made a big deal and still commented on your videos being like, oh, that was so awesome, love this or whatever. It just seems like nowadays to be a good flipper, you have to risk your life and it's just kind of stupid. You have to be throwing quads. I miss the good old days. So I'm gonna try to bring the good old days back during the meetup. If I wanna throw a quad front, maybe I will, I don't know. It's been on my mind like the past week, but it's so annoying to have that stressing me out like why would i worry about it it's not here yet you know i know i could make it i just don't want to have to try <laughs> i don't feel like it's worth it anymore i've got a really good thing with youtube going and i don't want to screw it up by freaking paralyzing myself i am still in a flipping slump i've been practicing more and i've gotten some of my tricks back but it's just not the same as it was you know i hate talking about negative stuff in my vlogs i just feel like it ruins people's moods so i try to keep that out i'm not mad at all i just kind of want you guys to know what's going on in my life i like to keep it real because i know there's a lot of youtubers that are super positive in their videos all the time and i just i don't know how they do it like i have a good life and stuff but everybody has some stuff that stresses them out some days i don't make videos purposely just because i'm not in a good mood and the last thing i want to do is film a video when i'm mad oh i gotta bring this bad boy out on the highway it's only left my hometown like five times because i've never had anywhere to go i can pretty much go here and then come right back but Oh, hey, there's a freaking deer right on the freaking highway. I don't know if you could see it, but that was awesome. Man, I really need to turn off that ringer. Let's get this bad boy up to 90. I'm kidding, Mom. Hopefully, the shakiness of this highway doesn't interfere with the GoPro. Let me know if I need to, like, buy a separate vlog camera and stick it in here or if I can keep using the GoPro. The reason I like the GoPro so much is that if I was driving and I had somebody else, you'd be able to see them, too. But then again, that's a bad thing if they're, like, picking their nose or something. Let me know, though, because I, I like good feedback. All right, let's see if I can set my cruise. Got it. Sweet. I'm a professional driver. So I promised myself the first day that I got my car, I would go visit my grandparents. Not so much to say that I did, but just because I really do like my grandparents, so I went and visited them. They've always been good to me, you know, so I feel like I should repay by going in my car to their house saying, hi, what's up, you know? I want to be a good grandson, okay? Another thing, let me get... Let me guys, what the hell? Let me know if you guys want longer videos, shorter videos. I mean, I watch people like Roman Atwood and his videos are like 20 minutes long sometimes. I feel like that's a little bit too long. Then again, I sometimes treat his channel like a TV show and I watch it just whenever I have free time. I feel like 15 is the most and then 10 is a good amount, you know, somewhere around there. Lowest would be like five minutes. I don't really know, I've always just kind of filmed the day, edited what I liked and kept that in. I can definitely leave in other stuff. Whenever I watch bigger YouTubers, they leave in stuff that I wouldn't leave in, yet I still am so entertained watching them. All right, guys, well, I wanna play some music, so I'm gonna go ahead and close it up there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, share with your friends and all the good stuff, and I'm out. Peace.